So here I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Uh, the intro name is SMT580 or SM-T580. And this is a friend's tablet and she gave it to me and I asked if I could update it. Well, officially you can't. It runs currently Android 8, which is the latest version that it can go officially, but there is of course Lineage OS, which um, is an unofficial community project to port newer Android versions to obsolete devices such as this. And this, thankfully being a Samsung, uh, very well known and uh, uh, often sold tablet, they of course created Lineage OS for it. And so, we're gonna try to install it. Now, of course, to do that, we have to root it first and install the TWRP recovery. So that's the first step. And then we can flash the Lineage OS on here. So in order to flash its recovery, we need to go into the settings first and go into the info section where it says here software information and we tap the build number a couple of times that's to get into the developer mode because that's very important so now that we're in developer mode um i have to find it where it is there it is developer options it's already determined but uh, it's pretty simple to figure out so what we're gonna enable now is here oem unlock that means it already says here um uh, allow OEM unlocked so we can flash the uh, bootloader and stuff. Now, as you see, it doesn't work with Samsung Pay and all that, but I doubt anybody uses it these days for these things with Android 8. And now also we can enable here the USB debugging so that it, uh, the computer can fully access the tablet's file system. So here on a Windows computer, we need some software. So we need a couple of things. First is, of course, the uh, TWRP recovery file. So um, for Samsung devices, you also need this .tar file. I'll link it below. And we need Odin, which is the flashing tool for Samsung devices. And of course, the Samsung USB driver. If you haven't got this installed yet on your computer, you should do it. Well, you need to do it, otherwise it won't be recognized. Um, so we're gonna just do that really quick. And um, then we can proceed. Okay, so here is the Odin flashing software. So in order to recognize the tablet here, we needed to put it into download mode. So to get one of these into download mode, you may need to shut it down first. And then we need to um, hold the, the power, the home and the volume down. So it's a bit hard to do. How do, we, how do they freaking do this? Like, this is not even easy. All right, so volume down, home and power. And as you see here, already comes up with a warning and we need to press volume up. So that's pretty simple right now, isn't it? So here it says Odin mode and FRP lock off. That's also good. Good to know that. And yeah, so now we can hook it up to our computer. So we'll plug it in into Windows. All right, let's fire up Odin as administrator, just to be sure. And it says here, edit, hooray. So now the exciting stuff can start. Um, so I'm following this guide here, by the way, I'm linking it below as well, of course. So uh, I have to press now AP. And now we have to select here our tar file. Is that the correct file? Yep, <clears throat> good. And now we just click the start button, right? So see what happens. Rests, okay, so that looks like it did it. There were no errors, there were no, um, you know, uh, weird things. So 
Now it's rebooting and I'm gonna show it to you. So now uh, we have to put it into recovery mode, into the TWRP recovery. So we shut it down again. And now we have to do this whole convoluted thing again, but this time with power up. So not download mode, but the recovery mode, right? So we still need to wait a bit. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna hold down volume up here, home and power all at the same time. We keep holding it. Nah, that was wrong. That was some other mode. I think, yeah, I did not release the buttons in time. So yeah, it's not so easy all the time to time this correctly. So now we're gonna reboot that thing once again with volume up and power and home. Right, that is not the recovery that uh, that I wanted, honestly. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this one more time. As you see, it's Android 8 recovery. God damn it. All right, power it off. Try it out one more time. <clears throat> so here, back into download mode. Let's do this one more time. Something didn't go well here. Something didn't go right. That surely is the correct TWRP, I tell you that. Okay, so this time we have success. All right, I didn't do anything else, just did it again, and here it is, good. So now we're here into the recovery. Now we need to wipe this thing to get the new operating system on it. So we press wipe, and uh, we're gonna do the advanced wipe, and I'm just gonna wipe everything. So here the cache, the system, the data, internal storage, everything pretty much, just to get it completely formatted and ready for something new. Of course, guys, I mean, it goes without saying, but everything will be wiped. So if you have any data, you uh, should do this. You should back it up first, right? So here in this case, doesn't matter. What? Okay, my gosh. So then we just gonna do everything except the data, I suppose. What? Most of the time, this is the only wipe that you need, right? I'm gonna trust you on that. We got a lot of fails here. Fail, 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 fail to mount data. It's as if it's like not allowed or something. All right, I'm just gonna format the data now. You may need to reboot recovery to be able to use data again. Updating partition details done. So something was successful. So the, f the data formatting that worked. Let me try that now again. All right, and now the, yeah, now I think it did it. Yeah, I mean, we don't have an external SD card. So that is the, why the error is here. Okay, so that seemed to have done it. So now we need to get the Lineage OS installed, finally. So. We need to uh, hook it up to the computer one more time and transfer the installation file. So it's pretty simple. So here is our device, the SMT580. And apparently we have two partitions of internal storage here, which is odd, but fine. Okay, we're gonna just copy the one Oops, I pressed something on the tablet. We're just gonna copy the, the Lineage OS here onto the internal storage, right? And now, oh yeah, and by the way, that's an important thing that I forgot. The Lineage OS comes without the, um, the Google app, so we need to install those as well. And um, we need, of course, the G apps for Android 13. So I think it's a 64-bit machine. Oh, it must be for sure. 
right? So I uh, hope this is not some big file. Okay, 367 megabytes, that's not so much. So that's what we need. Mind the G apps or the gaps. <laughs> And that will give us all, you know, the Google Play Store, the calendar, all the, the good Android stuff, which is not included by default. Okay, now comes the exciting stuff. So I'm going to turn off those lights because they're quite annoying. I'm going to try to install this. Hopefully it works, guys. So we did already wipe it. Now let's press install. And we're going to press here and swipe. Um, and now let's cross fingers that it finishes without errors. So yeah, progress bar is going. Let's hope it goes all the way. Okay. So this did it without errors, uh, except the micro SD card thing, but that's fine because we don't have any. So now let's go back. And, uh, as you see here is install again, so we were already in there, but I wanted to show it to you again. We press that again and now we press here the G apps. Let's hope those work as well. All right, as you see here, it's now installing the Android apps. And that should also take a little while. This is the Lineage OS boot screen. So that means we got it on there. And it's probably gonna boot up fine, so yeah good stuff guys good stuff so here it is welcome to lineage os all right start we're we gonna stick with english for the video here for now let's connect to wi-fi and here it is folks we got it working now still again there are no g apps on here but um the first big step is done we have Android 13 running on the Galaxy Tab A. And yeah, as you see, this is bare bones Android. You know, this is uh, just nothing on here at all. About the tablet. Android 13. This is amazing. And how easy that went. Beautiful. So I still really want to get those Qi apps on here. So we're going to follow this guy's advice and hope that it works for us as well, right? I'm going to just do this developer thing again, right? And now, where did that, that always pops up somewhere else, doesn't it? There it is, developer options. <clears throat> USB debugging. Okay. Allow running Android debugging as root, sure. Sure. And yeah, that should be it. So this guy says that we should first give it a shot just one more time with the setup OS, right? So we're going to try that. It's the easiest thing. So this is really hard to do. Okay guys, so I did try a bit and unfortunately no luck with this Mind the G apps. I also did reinstall the whole operating system twice that also didn't do it. So I have found an alternative G apps called Neek G apps. So we're gonna try that, right? So let's hope that is the correct one. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just see, right? So I'm gonna try that. Hopefully it doesn't crash right away. Guys, it did it. Look at that. That's something I actually didn't expect, but that installed just fine. So guys, we're back to the TWRP because it is now in a reboot loop. Yay. Well, something messed up there, unfortunately. That's, uh, well, that sucks. But uh, I have another, well, lead on a solution. So what we'll do now is we're going to install the the lineage os once again and then we're gonna boot into it and set it up and then install the nick g apps thing because it installed after all so um yeah well that's what we're gonna do now so 
man, <laughs> it's a bit annoying, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, guys, finally, I got this damn G apps installed. Previously, it went into a reboot loop, and uh, well, anyway, I, I'll tell you what I did. Okay, so I did wipe everything once again. Um, oh, awesome, good. That already. <laughs> I didn't test it out yet. Okay, and I hope this works now. This would if this was a procedure. God damn, man, this thing. It it really started off promising, but now it turned into a bit of a dumpster fire ever, ever since I tried to install those damn Qi apps. Those are like really, really annoying um, errors coming up. So now it does this, like it's stuck at this tablet, it's starting kind of shit. Oh my gosh, like I don't know what else can I could try now. I just got a feeling that... It doesn't work with this this Lineage OS version, which is sad because the Lineage OS itself is working so good. It's just the Google services they don't work so, and those are like essential, you know. So, man, this is yeah. I'm gonna try one more time not to save myself the headache of constantly having to transfer. I got an SD, and I put on here the. Um, the Lynch OS file in the G apps file, so when I wipe it, it's, it's already have it on the SD card. Of course, don't wipe the SD card, but yeah. So I'm gonna try one more time, wipe everything, install the um, uh, Lineage OS without setting everything up, and then yeah, I'm just gonna install the G apps one more time. Well, guys, I give up. This was not a success with Lineage OS 20. You might have better luck with Lineage OS 19 or 18 um, because, yeah, it just does not want to uh, work with the G apps. I tried two different ones and, yeah, I just have no luck. So, as you see, it's not always so easy with these things, um, which is a shame because it, it worked so well first. Like, if you want to use just bare bones Android, maybe just, you know, use it with uh, like as a web browsing device or whatever, then this is fine. But I think most people want the G apps. They want the Google Play Store and all that Google stuff. So, which is understandable. So if you don't need the Google stuff, yes, if you need it, try a different one. But I still had fun regardless. And um, yeah, I can... You know, I can recommend trying this out because Android 8 is so old, it's always better to get a newer version. So, yeah. Um, but with Lineage OS 20, so Android 13, partial success. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.